All right, and welcome back. So my name is Ava Volpez. I'm a tech-focused VTuber. I'm continuing on with the Mass Effect um, Avenger build today. So no starting soon screen because I've yeah basically a little late starting and got everything set up. So I might as well just go straight into it. We'll just double check I'm actually streaming. Yeah, there we go. Right, so last time didn't do too much, just got the base coat on the shroud here, got some fine sanding done on that. You still see some lines on here uh, for the print lines where they hadn't completely sanded down, so I do want to sort that out and then I'm going to continue on with this piece as well. I want to get these actually glued together today. I've got an idea for how to do that. Um, and then after that, these are the rest of the pieces for the top. Probably going to look at maybe starting on this piece next. There's a lot of little gaps in here, so I think what I'm going to do got some finishing resin for this which I'm going to try and actually use on here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to that this stream but we'll see if I can. But anyway, I want to get on with this part first. So I figure I can get this glued together. I can make a start on actually cleaning this one up a bit more as well. Uh, might have to stand the edge down a bit I think. There you go, it seems to be going together a bit better now. So, what I've got glue with is super glue. I've also got an accelerant pen, which I'm going to use. And then, because the base isn't flat, the thing I'm doing in order to actually hold these in the right position, so I've got all these cocktail sticks. I'm going to take these across. These will hopefully actually hold these and hold the parts in place. So, Only lot just enough tape to hold this firmly in the position I want. Same on the other side. Hopefully then. Okay, that's yeah. Maybe if I take it on like that as well, let's go ahead and do that. I'll do some on the top as well. I don't think I'll be able to get any under here just because of its the curve on here. Oh, I don't know actually. Might be in luck. I said I'm just going to be taking it up. 
I might as well just tape it up. Oh, yeah, let's forget the cocktail sticks then. A nice idea, but I can't quite get them tight enough to hold it in position, so. So for the blue. There's accelerant, so it's gonna speed up how fast the super glue takes to set. And then super glue actually hang on I need. You know what, tape might not be as necessary as I thought. I need to get some pins quick. Right, hopefully paper clips will work. Just a quick test. Those. Let's break out the pin vice, wherever that's gone. Uh, see how thick knocks the camera there. Okay. The drill that I've got in there is going to be just the right thickness, so... Yeah, those are already good. to hold it in place. As well, I don't really need tweezers to try and get this one straight. Yeah, these ones should do. There we go. Yeah, that's holding in really well, actually. So, top up on the accelerant.
Save it up, hold it in position. Maybe the first part joined. Leave it like that for now. And then eventually this one will go onto the back there. That will attach onto there. With the barrel going through there. So effectively this will get that in. Because it looks something like this. I don't know how well I'll show that on camera. Obviously it's gonna get painted up, but and I guess I can put the scope in there as well. Yeah, that's the top of the rifle there. Like that's yeah, that's set. So that's good. So we'll need to do some cleanup work on the scene. Otherwise that's looking firmly in place. Actually to be fair, there's gonna be other parts that are gonna be on on this so you won't actually see any of that. Yeah, I will need to sand this down a little bit more. Also need to start doing some cleaning up on the inside of here. We'll need to definitely clean that seam up. I've got in fact I might as well try putting it on now. Some plasto. So even though this is PETG that it's printed in. And this is really meant for ABS. It should, in theory, work to yeah, work to cover that gap up. I think actually, there you go, get the lid off. Cocktail stick. It's used as a mixing stick. Probably put this onto a lollipop stick to make sure it doesn't actually mess up the board. Oh, I'm a bit late now. So, nice thing about this stuff is that once it's dry, can be sanded. Doesn't matter too much, it's a bit rough right now. And all idea is that I'll be able to sand it down and get it all nice and flat.
that is, feels like it's already starting to cure now. It means it won't be too much of a mess. I think I'm going to do for the interior bits in here is get the rotary tool out which will allow me to get in there a lot better and clean that all up a lot faster That's in there. Oh yeah, that's not in there secure. Mm, okay, let's try and secure that in better. Oh, while I'm at it, I might switch out the Piece for a standing drum. That will hopefully take off material a lot better. Right, now I've got the bit switched over to the drum, I need to switch up to a fresh one. So I need a screwdriver for that. Hopefully that's on there secure enough. Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, that's much better. Okay, I think it was a lot smoother, and given that that piece is going to be in there, that's what really matters right now. Which I might as well give this a quick clean up. Yeah, not going quite as smooth as I might have liked. I think hand sanding is going to be the best option for that. But that was fitting well. A little bit of paint leaves on that one to get that all fitting snug. Yeah, otherwise I'm happy with that, and that's still solidly together. It's feeling like it's cured. Let's get some standing going. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe that's not so cured. Uh, I guess if that's the case, I'll let's start on this piece then. Maybe this should be a bit easier to work with because this is ABS, whereas that's PETG.
going to smooth out. I still see the lines, but we need to get in there. Dust come up there than I thought there would be. Yes, that's now going really smooth. So, yeah, for some reason, on a printer, that's printing, you can sure see. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a thick line along here. For some reason, it happened at the same height every time. This some mechanical thing with my 3D printer where it will just Put a thick line around there. So that takes a bit of cleanup to get rid of. Do more on this bit. That's really smoothing out now. I can still see some lines on there. Yeah, that one's already going along. Now you give myself a paper cut with the sanding paper there. smooth now. Still need a lot more sanding on especially these back bits. Not too worried about this bit because the that's gonna be in there. I do need to clean that bit up. Which I'll bring the rotary tool back out for. cleanest work and it has gone through the through the wall of the print there slightly but as I should be if I put these together now it's 
They're not quite getting together. That means close enough, I think. Yeah, there's a slight gap in there still. I just need to decide now whether to take it off from here, which is probably what I'll do. I could try and take this out a little bit more, but I think I'm going to take this down. better with the sanding block. A lot better fit actually, even just taking off that little bit. Probably close enough. Well, I might take a little bit more off, but close enough I reckon I could get away with doing some filling on there. Yeah, I'll take a little bit more off just to be sure. I think I can get away with that. I'm kind of tempted to actually try and put these two together now. Maybe not, I think I will. Um, where's my pin device? And there it is. Well, these are all drilled out to sufficient depth. There we go. So what I can now do is... Get this in and then turn that off. Make sure these are climbing. Uh, I'll get the get the accelerant on here. I 
as though it's super glued. Around here. Tape on to hold it in place. And that's the right position there. Yeah, the tape's already lost its tackiness. Well, that's it, so I'm going to go get a fresh drink. So I'll be right back. Not quite fully set yet, but close. The next step's going to be base coating this. Uh, I guess I'll do, need to do more sanding on this first. Maybe a bit more clean up on here as well, actually. Taking more up here. Oh, that's not fully set. Right, I'll leave that for now. So I guess I've got to figure out what to do with this next, how to clean up all of the lines on here. There's nothing really for it apart from just even more sanding. Fresh 180 grit. This is the rough stuff that will really take things down quick. You can see a lot better on there where the deep lines still are.
yeah, that's a lot better where the print lines still actually are. Yeah, nothing for it really other than just getting in there sandpaper. the position of the sandpaper because it was catching a bit on the event. does feel a lot smoother now but because even the dark lines there's still quite a bit that I need to actually sand. So the goal basically is to get it until it's a uniform colour. deep some of these are so I'm gonna have debating whether to just put some filler on sand them back in and just let that be be it. If I'm not focusing on one part all the time. Yeah, it's starting to get there, but still a lot. I think Zung, I was just going to have to knuckle down the sand over the weekend because that's going to be going to the rest of the stream if I'm actually focusing on that. So, let's see if I can focus on this for a bit on the barrel. See what I can do quickly. Yeah, I think I was going to have to do a filler job to get that done. 
Vamos a ver este ven. Yeah, that is, looks like it is drawing now. That's good. Let's draw as well, so I'll get... This time we'll do it on the stick. Uh, I can add a bit of more plus so just to fill in all of this. And hopefully make that join a bit more secure as well. Careful not to lay this down because I don't want to get any dust in the plaster that I put on on that side. to do it. I'll we'll probably do a bit of a hoover up next. Quite a bit of dust there that's built up thanks to the sanding. Right, that should uh, clean it up a bit. And that's feeling quite smooth actually. So I'll wait for that to dry. Let's see how I can get in there with the sandpaper and just clean these bits up a bit. I have to get the sanding drum in for.
No, well, really, that ended up. I guess I've got to do the underside still as well, but. I suppose at the very least, the, the gaps in there are kind of worn. Still a little bit raised up, so I need to flatten that off still. Yeah, otherwise, these are looking pretty good. Turn this down a bit more. Didn't really make much difference, but would have made something. Right, yet, yeah, not quite. I guess I'll like standing this bit down. Only a bit for the sanding drum. Just got to edge my finger there with the sand drum, but I think it's skin light enough, it's not was any damage, so not lucky there. all the bigger bits off now. I should be able to continue on with just regular sandpaper now. Did look like there's a bit of elephant's foot on there. It does make you wonder if that's actually uh, yeah, it might be contributing a little bit to facing of it.
I think just killed enough of them to get in there now. These LPs pieces in, in sod, I'm going to use the sanding stick instead because I'm trying to wield that sandpaper rounds is just a bit difficult. Well, that's not really that cured. Get rid of those little defects. So hopefully taking off a little the material in there will make it easier to slot this in. Isn't there pretty well now? When we get more glass around the edge, when I should glue it in, just so you don't see all this seam around here. So it's all, yeah, seamless. So I'll be in like that. It's basically looking down the, the barrel. So I guess now it's on to a very heavy, well, well not very heavy, but very large layer of undercoat. And I've just got a lot of, there we go, a lot of space to cover. Again, lots and lots of water into the palette, mixed into the black, so water it down a lot. The 
that's that will do. And then just like before, just brush it on. As you're doing this so I can see where uh, so like I've done on this. We subsequently sand it makes it a lot clearer where all the the defects are. So basically this is the alternative to priming. Right now I'm not really in a position to be using a spray primer. So I'll use the old fashioned old, old fashioned hand painting method. I'm not worry too much about this front bit because the uh, that's going to be on then. So you need to do these angled bits, but the actual plate itself on the front will be hidden. So there's not really any need to worry about the quality of that. Similarly with the interior here, kind of leave that because that's not going to be visible either. Not really a lot to say at this stage because uh, we just got to get on with paint and get this base coat on so I can see where I need to concentrate future sanding work.
You won't already see from the way the light is reflecting off the paint a few areas where I'm going to need to focus some extra sanding work on. the paint pretty much done now. I've only got a full coat on the green areas. Just make sure black paint out and then continue on. By the way, the reason why you have to thin the paint down with water is because when you do It'll actually dry pretty flat. In fact, I don't know how well you can see, but that's actually you can probably see from the lighting. That's actually really flat along there. Water just basically helps the paint to settle. I'll get this side done first and then I can focus on the handle or the bit that I'm holding on to last.
I've pretty much gone through all the black that I just put out for doing the next bit, so... It's the progress so far. New areas need to touch up. touch up as many of the areas that paint didn't fully coat while well, I can. Yeah. Get another load of black paint out. there now. Okay, front part's dry enough to hold up. I can use it to lift up while I paint that bit. So I don't need to worry about this because uh, as you can see from the holes another part is going to connect onto the just the angle parts that need to be painted now. Hopefully it's not ruin the paint job too much. I mean it's just a base coat so it's not like it's a final job. of the paint that I've got to do any touch-ups and parts that aren't fully covered yet. This is interesting. One of the things I am noticing already, so you can still see the line on there. So the plaster hasn't fully sealed that in.
bits, yeah. There's a few bits. That looks like I'm going to have to go and touch up. Which just seems to be kind of around here. I see quite a few lines still. Uh, the scene doesn't seem to be that bad on here. It's just more around the top and down there. Yeah, I think at this point it's probably a weekend job. So, since I don't want to spend more time just sanding and base coating, I think I'm going to end it there for tonight. So, thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, next stream is probably going to be, depending on how I feel, I might do an ad hoc stream on Sunday. I've still got. Down. 40k miniatures to finish painting up so this is the champion that I was working on before and then some forge world parts that I've been doing up I'm really pleased with the shoulder pads actually and the helmets I've got it's a couple of different styles that came with it so yeah you're gonna look at doing those uh, but it depends on how I feel really. Otherwise the next one, next stream I've got scheduled will be the next part of the Seeking build. So this is where I got to on Monday. So that one's going on YouTube, that stream. So I got the canopy on the last time and then tried to work on the box for the top. So I've got to finish that off. A few antennas, the rotors and then a bunch of decals to go on everywhere. Otherwise this is largely finished now, I reckon two more parts until this is uh, fully done. But yeah, because I've done that all on YouTube so far, I'm going to finish the streams on YouTube. And then look to continue this on Twitch, so going to see which one, which platform is working better for me. Uh, so yeah, that's the current plans right now uh, so yeah once again thank you very much if you got this far and I will see you next time <laughs>